Hey guys, sorry this is coming so late today. I know normally I put these out uh, in late morning or early afternoon, but it has been a bit of a crazy day at the office, so my bad. Get up off my back. But better late than never, so today we are back for our next daily devotional, and we are looking at the second chapter of the book of Ecclesiastes. So again, I'm going to encourage you guys this every day, youth, parents do this together do this apart talk about it together grow together in this and bounce some ideas off each other and pray together it's just uh this is the way god intended it um from the very very beginning so check that out so here's here's what chapter two looks like we we come back and the teacher continues uh giving us his wisdom and telling us a little bit more and he he kind of gives a little bit of a picture of some of the things that he has looked at in his search for wisdom and his search for meaning in life. So he begins by talking about this idea of, you know, he decides to test everything that's good, to test pleasure, to test laughter and what's funny. And he has everything that's good in life. Because if you know the story of Solomon, uh, he had many wives, many concubines, he was rich, he had so, so, so much. But at the end of this, he comes to this point and he goes, but uh, it didn't mean anything. It just didn't mean anything in the end. And then he digs into this uh, concept of whether you should live wisely or just act like a tool bag all the time. Act like a fool is how he says it, or live like a fool. And he says, you know what, it's, it's a little bit better if you live wisely. Things will go better for you. Your heart will be better. But ultimately, again, there's there's really not a whole lot of point. Everything, like we said in that first devotional, is hevel, hevel. It's vapor. It's vapor. It's meaningless. Really, it doesn't matter at the end of the day. And then the last thing he talks about is this idea of work. Sometimes we can work and we can work and we can work, he says. And everything that we work for, in the end, we're going to pass away. We're going to die. And everything that we work for, well, you can't take it can't take it with you, right? You can just never take it past the grave. It's not coming to heaven. It's not coming to the afterlife, so to speak, uh, when we meet God. But he says ultimately that in all of that, and this is the verse that I quoted yesterday, there's nothing better for a person than that he should eat and drink and find enjoyment in his toil. This also I saw is from the hand of God. There's nothing better. Enjoy what you've got today because it's a gift from God. It's a good thing. And no matter whether you're rich or poor or whether you found enjoyment in some of those crazy things that he talked about or whether you've lived perfectly wisely or not, the whole goal, the whole point, everything else is meaningless. But God has great, great value and he wants you to enjoy what he has given you. So for you guys, what's he given you today? What have you got to be thankful for? Do you get stuck in your house right now? Sure. But you have your health and you have your families. Uh, you can go for walks. You can enjoy those kind of things. You've got your weird Zoom school to do. You can enjoy those things. Put your mind to them. Put your heart to them. Mean to do them and mean to do them well. And just enjoy them. Because we don't know whether tomorrow will be the day or today will be the day or it will be 50 years from now. And that might be weird for you guys to think about as teenagers. It might be. But it's not that weird. Enjoy what you've got today. God has given you a great, great gift, this common grace of today. And as you enjoy that, think on God. Think of where your relationship is with him because you want to draw closer to him. You will find deeper enjoyment and true life, a life that lasts well beyond today and this life into the life that God has promised us in eternity. So that's what you guys need to hear from the second chapter of Ecclesiastes today. I will be back tomorrow. I will try to be on time. And get ready for Friday because CR Youth Online is coming back. I'm out.